How you feel about yourself has an enormous impact on your mental health and well-being. Because when you don't feel particularly great about yourself, or you don't think that you're worthy or good enough, then you can often tend to make decisions that might not be in your best interest. Or you might use unhealthy coping mechanisms, or belittle yourself on a regular basis. So this week on Better Mental Health, I'm sharing 8 ways to improve your self-worth. And stick around until the end, because I'll be sharing the single biggest thing that you can do today that will make you feel 10 times better about yourself. So my first tip is choose to embrace your uniqueness. You are a perfectly unique little snowflake. There is only one of you amongst the nearly 8 billion of us on this ball of rock spinning through space. And that makes you both special and priceless with something unique to offer to the world. And it's up to you to remind yourself every single day that it is your uniqueness that makes you worthy of love, kindness and belonging. One way to do that is with my next point. Choose to focus on your positives. Now that doesn't mean that you completely ignore your challenges because we all have areas to improve on over time. But what I mean is that when you focus on the negative, then you're going to see plenty more to think and feel negatively about. Whereas when you actively focus on the positive, you'll see plenty more to think and feel positively about. The choice is yours. But either way, what you look for is what you find. Next, choose to be 100% you. Self-worth is about seeing value in yourself. And so if you're trying to be something or someone that you're not, it's going to be pretty tough to have a healthy sense of self-worth because you're not being authentic. Something I talked about in this video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Get to know who you really are and be absolutely and unapologetically you. Speaking of, my next point is choose to only compare yourself with yourself because it's just not possible to make a direct comparison with others. We all have our own strengths and development opportunities and our own challenges that we've had to work through. And so if you try to compare yourself to someone else, then you're making an unfair comparison. It's like comparing apples and oranges, which can never and will never be the same. You can paint an apple orange, but it's still an apple, albeit an apple that now tastes like paint. And that leads to my next point. Choose to make self-improvement the foundation of your well-being practice. If you want to be better, then be better. If you want to do better, then do better. Progress is made in small steps, so take time to understand your strengths and your challenges or development opportunities so that you can build on your strengths by leveraging from them and doing more of what you're good at, overcome your challenges, and learn new skills to address your development opportunities. Almost anything can be improved with the right mindset, along with time, effort, and perseverance. Next, choose to never let someone or something else determine your self-worth. And this is basically just me saying don't put up with crap. You can be kind without being a pushover. And if someone tries to exploit you or make you feel bad about yourself, then that is 100% on them and it has nothing to do with you. So let that stuff be water off a duck's back. You know, it's like when people sit at home and criticize others who are out in the world doing things that make them and other people happy. That has nothing to do with the person they're attacking and everything to do with who those types of people are and how miserable they are with their own lives. In those cases, I say just meet unkindness with kindness and then leave those people alone because they have no control over your sense of self-worth unless you let them. Okay, next, choose the people around you wisely. And let me say this as bluntly as I can. If the people in your life are negative, then change the people in your life. If you let people do harm to you, then you are doing harm to yourself, which will only have a damaging effect on your self-worth. I'm actually going to be talking about how to deal with toxic people in the next week or so, so subscribe to my channel and click the bell to turn on notifications when I release new videos. In case you didn't know, YouTube doesn't automatically recommend videos to you just because you're subscribed to a channel, so turning on notifications ensures that you get to see my new content as soon as it's released. Okay, my next point, and this is the single biggest thing you can do to feel 10 times better about yourself today, choose not to be your own bully. I don't know how else to say this without diluting the message, so just don't be your own bully. There are enough bullies in this world without you adding fuel to the fire by bullying yourself. 
And if you can't be kind and supportive to yourself, then how can you expect other people to be? And so you'll notice that every piece of advice I've given today started with the word choose. And that is because the way you treat yourself is completely up to you. You can choose to be kind or unkind and what you choose will determine your sense of self-worth. It's never too late to make a choice to change by treating yourself with greater kindness and recognizing your own self-worth. The choice is yours, as it is with all things related to your well-being. So, what choice will you make today? Let me know in the comments below. And if all of this talk of improving your self-worth has you feeling inspired to make some changes in your life, then watch this video next, where I talk about how to make thoughtful changes in your life. And you'll find even more advice on managing your well-being in my weekly podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health. It's linked in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time.